wondered what it would be like if you fucked a centaur? Wondered how silky the feel of the skin of a literal angel would be? The warmth of a cat person's fur rubbing against your body? If so, get the fuck out, you fucking furry. Then look no further because I got the series that literally says it all for you. And that is Interspecies Reviewers. A straightforward story about a group of guys that go to brothels of different species and literally afterwards review them. Wanna know how tentacle sex with a Dagon is? You got it. Wanna know how you'd get your dick in a fairy? You got it. Do you want to know the feeling of how a 50-year-old human woman feels in your arms! There's no judgment here. There's all that and more. So sit back and buckle up as we dive into the story that will leave you wondering where your strict Christian parents failed you into jacking off to a demon girl. We all wondered what it would be like to have intercourse with fictional fantasy characters, right? I mean, if no one did, millions of 14-year-old girls around the world wouldn't have creamed their pants for Twilight. And because of this, I can already see you guys typing, Sydney. All you're doing is reviewing an adult sex manga again. And to that I would say, you're fucking wrong, you dumb shit. Sadly, although this manga revolves around the topic of prostitution and a group of guys reviewing how they performed, it does not actually show the real performance itself. AKA no sex! Alright everybody, go home, okay? Besides the lack of sex, it also doesn't show full-blown nudity as well as rarely showing bare nipples. But hey! The manga more than makes up for that with a little something... I mean, look at these cow titties! They're making me less vegan by the second! We all want to try barbecue on a dragon's coochie, right? Well, now we don't have to wonder! Cause it's, it's in here. And those are just two of the looter scenes, so... Although there isn't any full-blown sex scenes, there are plenty of events that could <laughs> stimulate you. <laughs> It's also these events that give us comedic relief, because although each different species is sexy in their own way, each pleasure that they give off is not for everybody. One such example is when the group has sex with a 50-year-old human woman compared to a 500-year-old elf, they start to review which one performed better. And weirdly enough, the 50-year-old human won due to her youth and her abilities. Grandma has a chance in this world, guys! Grandma, prostitute, Isekai. Can we make that a thing, Japan? The creativity and thought put into each girl is, of course, one of the main fixtures of this series. Like the creativity and detail put into monsters like the winged woman and how supposedly having sex with her is like having sex with a parakeet. Or as they say in the manga, paraski! The art drawn for each girl is also a little slice of heaven for this etchy sketchy manga. I often commend manga artists for how meticulously drawn each of their series are, with what genre they're drawing it for, especially the adult genre and how well they have to draw naked bodies. But I, I have to give this one an extra round of applause because this person isn't just drawing booby and coochie. They're drawing booby coochie monsters! So essentially, he has to figure out the anatomy of these fictional girls, like some sort of biologist who studies fictional characters for some guys who have a hankering for bestiality. Like, where do artists get reference material for this shit? How do they sit there and think, how do we make this cat fucking sexy? Just add hair and tits to it! This is fine, this is fine, this is fine! Like, look at this demi-human! Look at her cute little paws and footsies! And then you gotta realize your cat's a prostitute, guys. And we can't forget the moment of sheer genius when our characters had sex with a literal sensor bar. Yup, this girl's species' sole purpose is blurring out their naughty bits with bright lights, like we're in some sort of manhwa. Also, just a side note, but this fairy's face really reminds me of... Oh god. Oh god! Oh no! Interspecies Reviewers is of course not very plot heavy and mainly focuses on the etchy and comedy genre. The amount of thought and creativity put into each species is what makes this series one of the most creative and unique etchy comedic genres that I've read. So if you're looking for a series where you want to zone out to some monster tits, which let's be honest, who doesn't? Then you really can't do much better than this. Currently there's only one English translated volume available and although there is actually two volumes in Japan, it is taking a while to make. I mean the series has been ongoing since 2016 and there's only been two two volumes made, so... So sadly, it seems we're going to have to wait a while to see how they review your horse girl waifu or 
-hmm. Whatever sick monster girl fetish you fucking have. Get some help. I would say Interspecies Reviewers is definitely an etchy series, but due to the lack of boobage and full-blown intercourse, makes fapping to it a bit more effort because you kind of have to leave a lot of it to your imagination. The comedy of the guys in the group, the amount of detail put into each species, the wonderful artwork of each character is what makes this manga one I highly recommend, especially if you are looking for a fun slice of life to take a break from all the other depressing shit you usually read. It's definitely a fun manga you don't really have to put a lot of thought into. If you would like to read this series, it is currently on Bookwalker. Use coupon code SITSNAP for 600 yen off your first purchase. Links can be found in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Here is this month's waifu shoutout with all the new patrons' names added. Kizo, what are the stats on this new Ava, you dipshit? Ryan Iveson, fuck you! Kyle Lamb, how about you shed some light on this situation? <laughs> I love making the content I do, but because it's usually so odd, it is often demonetized. So if you would like to support this channel, please type in this link here or visit the link in my description. Thank you guys again for watching this and I will see you later. <laughs>